Welcome to your blissful yoga flow for relieving anxiety. In our practice today, we are going to be working through postures that strengthen the legs and core and lengthen the side body in efforts to become present and find balance within the mind. To finish off our flow, you may want a pillow or bolster to support your Shavasana, so be sure to have that nearby just in case. Now if you're ready to begin, grab your mat, your pillow, and let's get started. Let's begin seated on our mats. Come to the back of your mat and sit on your shins, coming into child's pose, balasana, resting your forehead on the mat, and let's bring the arms back by your sides, backs of the hands resting on the mat, massaging your third eye, this pose encourages sleep and prevents restlessness. Inhale and exhale, let it go. In Balasana, we are stimulating the crown chakra and third eye chakra, the Sahasrara chakra and Agnya chakra, opening the mind and clearing the thoughts. Inhale and exhale with your ujjayi breath, warming the body through breath, keeping the inhalation and exhalation with equal duration. Try seven seconds in and seven seconds out. Mouth is shut, rushing, wave-like noise created by a slight constricting of the throat. Utilize your diaphragm. Inhale. And exhale. Let it go. Beautiful. On your next exhalation, roll up to seated so that you're sitting on your heels, nice and tall with the spine. Gaze front. Inhale and exhale, clasp the hands behind you and bring them to the right side of your body, bending the elbows, and take a few head circles to the right side, and then switching off to the left whenever you're ready, just warming up the torso, utilizing that breath. Inhale, and exhale. Let's switch the hands to the other side and continue those head circles until you feel even on both sides. Continuing your ujjayi breath. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale, come up onto your knees and gently move your calves out to the sides, lowering the hips between the heels and coming into hero's pose, virasana. If this is not within your practice today, or you begin to feel pain or intense discomfort, please come back into a child's pose and just sit up nice and tall on your heels. If you are in hero's pose, try to relax all of the leg muscles and sit up nice and tall in the torso, shoulders melting away from your ears, sitting up as tall as you can hands placed on the thighs gently. This posture improves the blood flow of the legs. It also aids in mental focus and promotes meditative thought. Inhale, crown of the head reaching up. Exhale, hips sinking into the mat. Focus on your breath. Inhale, and exhale let it go beautiful work gently come out of your hero's pose by lifting up onto your knees and walking your hands forward so that you're in a tabletop position then relax down to the mat and take a seat facing the side of the mat bring your right leg out to the side 
and cross the left leg in front of you. Sits bones planted firmly on the mat. On your next exhalation, reach over towards the right leg and flex those toes, elongating the side body. Shoulders are stacked as if you are stuck between two walls. So don't let that top shoulder fall forward. Keep the torso nice and upright. Inhale and exhale. Deepen the stretch. Wonderful. On your next exhalation, roll up to seated and let's switch legs. Have the left leg extended along the mat and right leg crossed in front of you. Reach over towards that left leg, flexing the toes, being sure that the torso is flat and the sits bones are planted on the mat. Continuing that ujjayi breath, deep inhalation and controlled exhale. Awesome. Now on your next exhalation, come back up to seated and make your way to standing, coming to the top of your mat. Bring the feet together, gaze front. Let's take an inhale and reach the arms all the way overhead, bringing the palms together, shoulders sliding down your back. Gaze up, elongate the entire body for tall mountain pose or volcano pose. Urdhva Hastasana, arms extended, allowing the energy throughout the body to move freely, opening the mind, opening your third eye, being present. Close your eyes here for just a moment and find your center, feeling your physical body within the space, grounding down through your feet, focusing on your intention for our practice. Inhale, and flutter the eyes open, reach further, and exhale, dive into forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands into the mat and step back into plank. Take Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Heels reaching for the mat. Sternum falling towards the earth triceps rotating inward. Breathe. Send breath into your hamstrings. Be present. Focus on your body. Focus on your breath. Inhale. Send the right leg up into three-legged dog. Point the toes and exhale. Bring the knee to the chest and step between the hands, lifting up into warrior two. Virabhadrasana 2, arms reaching out to the sides, shoulders to the side of the mat, hips to the top left corner of the mat, bending that front leg deeper and deeper, keeping the knee right over the ankle. Inhale, reach front, flip the palm, exhale, release back into a peaceful warrior, Viprita Virabhadrasana. Reverse warrior, shoulders down, front knee continuing to deepen. Inhale, reach and exhale, release over, extended side angle. Utita Parsha Vokanasana. One line from the fingertips of the left hand all the way down to the left heel. Again, continuing that line of energy, being present, freeing the mind. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. Place the right hand on the mat, fingertips to the ground, and extend the front leg, creating triangle pose. 
Trikonasana. Really keeping the torso flat as if you were between two walls, just like in our seated side stretch. Compressing the right side of the abdominals as we lengthen the left side. If you wish to take it one step further, place the hand on the opposite side of the leg, increasing the stretch and really continuing to challenge your alignment here. Focus on your body, your alignment, your breath. Let go of what will happen and what has happened. Allow the mind only to be aware of what is happening now in this moment. Inhale and exhale. Come back up into warrior two. Bend the front knee. Stabilize yourself. And on your next exhalation, press off the back foot and come into half moon pose. Ardha Chandrasana. Right fingertips out in front of you. Your left leg is parallel to the mat. Toes pointed. Gaze down at the mat. And as we continue to increase awareness of the body and find our balance, be sure to take deep breaths. Maybe even coming back to that ujjayi breath. Shoulders open entire torso facing the side, toning our abdominals. If you want to take it one step further here, creating sugarcane pose, go ahead and grab the left foot and gently pull it towards your glute for Ardha Chandra Chapasana. In this heart opening posture, we increase flexibility of the hips as we strengthen the right leg grounding down, connecting to the breath. Inhale and exhale, bend both knees, place the left fingertips on the mat and roll down into forward fold. Inhale and exhale, roll up to standing, bringing the right knee to your chest. Then place the sole of the right foot on the inside of the left thigh, creating tree pose. Vrikshasana, hands to your heart center, inhale and exhale, let it go. Balancing on one leg allows us to relieve stress and anxiety because we must focus on keeping upright rather than letting the mind wander. It urges us to be present and helps us to calm the mind. Inhale and exhale. Well done. On your next inhalation, plant the right foot back into the mat right next to the left and reach the arms overhead, returning to tall mountain pose. Urdhva Hastasana. Gaze up. Feel the energy flow throughout your entire body. Reach higher and higher. Inhale and exhale. Dive to forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen halfway. And exhale. Plant the hands into the earth. Step back into plank. Inhale. Weight moves forward. Exhale. Take Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Great job. On your next inhalation, reach the left leg up into three-legged dog. Point the toes. And exhale, knee to chest. Step between the hands. Roll the back heel down to the mat and lift up into warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Finding your stability, grounding down. Focus on your breath. Inhale, 
Lift the front palm, reach forward. Exhale, release back. Viprita Virabhadrasana. Reverse warrior. Gaze up past your elbow. Inhale and exhale. Release over, extended side angle. Utita Parshavokanasana. Continuing that line of energy throughout the body, lengthening the side body. Inhale and exhale. Place the left fingertips to the mat and straighten the legs coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Again, your shoulders are stacked here, being sure not to let the torso fall forward. If it is within your practice today, Go ahead and place the fingertips on the opposite side of the leg, opening the heart further and lengthening your body, letting go of all that no longer serves you. One line from the fingertips of the right hand all the way down to the left, breathing easily. Inhale and exhale bend that front knee and lift back up into warrior two stabilize yourself gaze at the mat and then push off the back foot creating half moon pose arda chandrasana hips open facing the wall beside you find your drishti focus on the mat micro bend in that left knee as you keep the shoulders away from your ears. If you're ready to transition into Ardha Chandra Chapasana, sugar cane pose, go ahead and grab the right toes and aim to keep the knee lifted and parallel to the earth, not looking away from your drishti, finding your balance, calming the mind. Inhale, and exhale, bend both knees and place all fingertips on the mat as you rotate the hips to the ground, coming into forward fold. Left knee comes to chest as you roll up and place the bottom of the left foot on the inside of the right thigh. Hands come to prayer for Anjali Mudra. Gaze ahead, relax your face. Let your worries melt away as you allow yourself to simply be in this moment. Be present, be free. Inhale and exhale. Place the foot back into the mat and lift up into tall mountain pose, volcano pose. Gaze up, inhale, reach further, and exhale, dive down and come into a seated position on your mat. Roll all the way down so that you're lying on your back. Inhale, and exhale, press into the forearms and arch the back, creating fish pose, matsyasana. Crown of the head, reaching for the mat. Being sure to keep the neck straight and not looking to either side. So if you want to come out and watch me come into this posture first to see the alignment, that's totally fine. Then move safely into your Matsyasana so that you don't cause injury to your cervical spine. Well done. Opening the heart chakra here reaching the torso to the sky as you press the forearms into the mat. Toes pointing, arching deeper and deeper into the spine. Surrendering yourself to the universe. Inhale and exhale, release your fish pose. And come into our final posture. Shavasana. If you wish, you can take 
A supported Shavasana here, placing your pillow or bolster underneath your knees, alleviating pressure on that lower spine. Palms face up to the sky. Close your eyes. Be present. Be in this moment. Absorbing all that you have accomplished in this practice. Allowing the mind to be free from anxiety, from stress and worries. Only letting yourself think about the breath. Coming into a deep meditative state. You are exactly where you need to be. Come back to the breath. Come back to the present. Feel the body melting into the earth, surrendering yourself to nature, releasing negativity, consciously letting go of all that no longer serves you. Beautiful. If you're ready to finish off your practice with me today, go ahead and begin to find movement throughout the body and open the eyes. If you want to stay here for a little longer, that's totally fine. If you want to finish off with me, just come into an easy seat and bring the palms to Anjali Mudra, heart center, and thank yourself for taking the time for your body and mind today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bow down to your own heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching Mermaid Yoga. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to help our channel grow. We hope to see you again on the mat soon.